Do you get frustrated when your stamped image doesn't show up exactly where you wanted it to be as a little crooked? Or would you like to do beautiful background stamping but um, you need them to line up perfectly? Well, that's where the stamp image comes in. And this is Tanya Weir with Spunky Cards and a quick video tutorial for my newsletters subscribers that will make their life a lot easier as they make the card for this month's free tutorial. So the stamp and Jake is your guide and a plastic piece of paper and what you're going to do is you're going to grab your stamp that you want to stamp. You're going to put your guide right in here and line it up in a corner, ink up your image and you're going to stamp on the sheet. And then this here will help us line up where we want to stamp. So I want my image to go smack dab in the center of my card. And now um, I line up in that corner and put it down. And now when I want my second one, um, depending on what kind of pattern you've got going, let's say I want them to be diagonal right here, I go right here. Now if this um, stamp -a jig does not touch my plastic, I have one of two choices. I can either put something heavy down on my card, um, I can tape it down, or I can move my guide. I just got to remember, now I'm lining up over there. And that means I need to hold my stamp differently. But there, um, that you can do however you want. Alrighty, and this is how you create beautiful pa patterns. Let me do it one more time. Bring this over here, like that. And you can make your own designs, however you wish. Anyways, if you are receiving spunky stamping news, you will be excited because there's a beautiful card that goes with um, this background. Um, if you don't receive Spunky News yet, hop on over to my blog, SpunkyCards.com and subscribe to Spunky News and you will get all my monthly free tutorials delivered straight into your email inbox. This is Tanya Weir. Remember, every day is a great day to make Spunky Cards.